What's up guys, it's Ben Coady here and recently quite a lot of people have been telling me that I should start making some Vegas tutorials on my channel and they said they'd be interested on how I do some of my effects or how I sync in Vegas and all that stuff so um, I thought today I'd start it off by um, telling you guys how to improve your quality on your videos and I also want to ask you guys to leave down in the comments what you want to see next. If you want to see any more tutorials from me, I could show you how I record my cinematics and how I sync in Vegas or some effects that I use uh, quite a lot and that I find quite useful. So also I'm not claiming that uh, the settings I use or the effects I use is the best way to edit possible. It's just the way I do it and a lot of my subscribers said they'd be interested in seeing that so I decided to make tutorials about it. Mm, probably um, a lot of these things that I'm telling you guys will have been on YouTube already or you will already know them but um, it's just to um, inform some people that were interested in it. So first of all um, if you start a new project for the highest quality possible you want to change the resolution resolution which is this right here to 1080p um, sorry that it's all in German but I'll try and commentate it all in English to make you understand so if this takes too long to render or you don't want to use it you can change the settings to this right here which is um, 720p which you probably all know from YouTube but for the highest quality possible um, what I usually use is this. And then the frames per second, some people use 29 frames per second, but um, especially for editing, 59 or 60 FPS is the best way to go. You can keyframe way better with it, you can um, skip every single frame one by one, and um, you can just be a lot more accurate with the effects, even if you render in 30 FPS afterwards. But um, usually I change it to this for the project settings and one another important thing is um, the render quality should usually always be on uh, optimal. This is called best on the English version I think. And yeah, if these are new settings for you, you can click uh, this bottom button right here which will open your next project in the exact same settings as you can see here. So. Once you've done that, drag your clip. Oops, you don't want to watch it. Drag your clip into Vegas, and the first thing I always do, and I'm going to explain to you why, is <coughs> sorry. Um, I right-click on the clip, and I go to Properties, and press Disable Resample. What this does, you can see it on the preview screen right here now, is it stops this ugly looking um, resample effect which um, probably the majority of uh, editors would see if you don't have it turned off and it just looks very shit to be honest. So always remember to turn that off and another thing I don't know if you can see at the edge of the preview screen right here there's like a little black bar. Try to get a more bright spot. Maybe here you can see it on the box or at the side right here. Um, this is caused by some capture devices I think that um, are a little bit off at the re resolution. I'm not quite sure though because uh, I record on PC only. I don't even have a console. But um, if you want to change that you can either, either right click on the clip, go to properties again and uncheck this which usually is, um, stretches the screen out to the very edge but um, a lot of the times that doesn't work because um, for this clip it's already been pre-rendered so Vegas can't scratch to the size anymore but what, what you can do to change this is click this button once again this is the pan crop option click this right here go to the very beginning to this keyframe uh, make this a little bigger Make sure this one right here is unchecked and you've got this option selected. These got to be checked too and then just drag it in a tiny bit. That will get rid of the problem. You can see it as an example here. If I pull it out, you got the black edge. If you pull it in a little bit more as the image, uh, you'll be 
uh, without the black bar at the edge. So this is a little bit of improvement, um, just if you didn't know how to fix it. And then for the render settings that I use, you can uh, either use Windows Media Video or uh, obviously MP4, which is C, I think. But I always use this because um, it takes me um, a lot less time to render. And for the highest quality, I go on 1080p, go to adjust, um, adjust the render settings. I don't know what it says in English, custom probably. And then uh, you go to the video option. And what you can do to improve the quality is ch uh, turn up this a bit, this is the sharpness, and don't turn it up to the farthest because then, in my opinion, it's too sharp. Go to like 95. Um, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but I always use it. And then for 1080p, you want to go on this layer here and go to custom and change this from 1440 to 1920 which are the proper 1080p settings. I don't know why they don't have them in here. <laughs> it's pretty weird but um, if you change that though you gotta make sure to go to the pixel um, resolution or whatever and go to a thousand square. Um, then you can also change the frames to 59. You don't have to but with this new YouTube option, um, it can be shown in 60 FPS, which is pretty useful. And I sometimes use it now. It takes double the time to render, though, if you didn't know. So um, think about it twice before you start rendering. And yeah, that's basically about it. And you can press OK. For the MP4 settings, it's basically the same. You go on Internet HD 1080p. You can have you have a video option here as well. You can can you change this to 59? Um, not even sure what this is now. Is it this? I think this is a 59 uh, FPS setting, and I don't know. I never really use MP4, but this is probably the best setting you can use. And yeah, it takes a lot more time to render for me, I don't know why, but um, a lot of people seem to use MP4. Um, just as a quick tip, try um, WMV, it helps me out a lot. And before you start rendering, make sure this right here is turned to best and full. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I always put it because while it's rendering, um, it shows the image in the size you selected here. So maybe it renders in better quality if you put it on best and full. And then you can go to your uh, render settings, adjust all that what I just told you and press render. So that's basically all the tips I can give you. Um, if you want to see anything else from me next as a tutorial, as I said, tell me down in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give me some feedback and I'm going to see you guys on the next commentary with that sex German accent. Bye.